Shalom, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Waha Raka Quadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the men who taught me this truth, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect that's continuing in the work of the only Savior of the elect of the nation of Israel, Yahweh Shah. And all fear shall warm. Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying. Our Lord Yahweh Shai, when he came in the flesh, took to himself no reputation. And that's roughly paraphrasing the book of Philippians, chapter 2. All right. And I'm going to start at the fourth verse. Lord willing, this lesson be edifying. All right. I was watching the Apostle Gabar earlier. All right. Screaming live. And he was giving an example of the cross getting heavier at the end of the journey, all right? Giving Yahweh Shah being that ultimate example, meaning he being the, the epitome of examples, okay? And if Yahweh Shah cross got heavy, our cross is gonna get heavy also, but Yahweh Shah took to himself no reputation, all right? He was the ultimate sacrifice also, okay? And the story that Apostle Gabal through the Spirit allowed to bring out that's an example of Yahweh Shah when he came to the earth in the flesh, taking to himself or taking upon himself no reputation. All right. This is Philippians chapter two and verse four. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. And that was the mindset that Yahweh Shah had. All right. He wasn't being selfish. OK, he endured everything that he had to endure. All right, by himself, all right, when the disciples was falling asleep on him and he needed someone to be there in his time of need, all right, his hour, all right, of, of grief before he was um, going to be or going to become the ultimate sacrifice for the elected the nation of Israel, all right, he uh, looked upon his brother's uh, situation and not just his own. The scripture says, Philippians 2 and 4, look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. If Yahweh Shah had that mindset, and we know the sufferings that Yahweh Shah suffered for the elect, all right, we should be in the same mindset, all right, and not looking just upon ourselves because the brother bes bes uh, besides you, all right, is, is struggling or struggling worse than you, all right. Uh, verse 5, it says, let this mind be in you, see, which was also in Mashiach Yahweh Shah. All right. Verse six, who being in the form of the Most High, thought it not robbery to be equal with the Most High. All right. That's being uh, that humble lamb. All right. That's being that that uh, sacrificial lamb that Yahweh Shah came as. All right. Not taking upon himself no reputation. OK, not thinking it uh, uh, or thinking to fashion himself, all right, in any fashion as his father, he came as a man, all right? It says, who being in the form of the Most High thought it not a robbery to be equal with the Most High, all right? Verse 7, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of, a, of man, all right? He was made in the likeness of men because that's coming as a humble lamb. That's taking upon yourself, all right, of no reputation, all right? He came and he um, did the work of the Most High, and he also completed the work, as the scripture says, all right? That was his meat, okay, to perform the will of the Most High and to complete it, okay? That was Yahweh Shai's meat to do that. But he came in the form of a man. He took upon himself no reputation, all right? He endured the cross, okay? He took humiliation, okay? He took beatings, okay? Castration. And Yahweh Shai had the power, okay? Had all powers in, in, in his hand, okay? To, to um, do otherwise, okay? Just like when he uh, went forth and asked the Lord to take that cup away from him, all right? And the Most High, um, uh, turned his face so to speak or ignored him okay which meaning he had to endure that on his own 
All right. He had to go through that. All right. And like how was I said, let your will be done. OK, but he didn't want to uh, endure that. But but he was that ultimate sacrifice, that ultimate uh, uh, sacrifice, that sacrificial lamb. All right. He came as a form of a man to do these things. OK, it says. Verse eight and being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself. See that 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 humble lamb and became obedient unto death. Even the death of the cross. All right. This is our Lord, Yahweh Shah, the one that was worthy to to take the book out of the hand of the Most High, the one that is that was worthy, and this is how he became worthy, okay, bearing his cross, all right, uh, being humble, all right, taking to himself no reputation, and that's the way we should be, all right, because the Scripture also says we are unprofitable servants, okay, we 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 do these things in faith, okay. Because your Hawabai from Yahushai, they do what they want to do, all right? But we should follow in the footsteps of Yahushai, which is that example, that ultimate example, all right? And he was obedient unto death, all right? It says, in being found in, in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross, all right? So let's jump back up to seven and look up reputation, okay? In the Strong's G, 2758. The pronunciation. Strong's G twenty seven fifty eight. Kanao. 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 All right. It says to empty, make empty. Of Mashiach, he laid aside equality with or the form of the Mosai. It says of of Hamashiach, he laid aside equality. All right. That's why he was a. Uh, 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 Glorified by the Most High, all right, because because he was uh, not a proud individual, all right. Remember, Yahweh Shai had all powers, all right. He 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 is the uh, the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings, all right. He is written in the volume of the book, okay. He he uh, made all things, and all things was made. Matter of fact, we're gonna get it, but the definition says of Hamashiach he laid aside equality with or the form of the most high to make void. And he, he didn't, he didn't, uh, um, or in his lust, should I say, he didn't, uh, uh, come to the earth and, and boast about anything or do anything. He laid void all those things. He didn't, he wasn't equal with the most high it says deprived of force, render vain, useless of none effect. All right. So the force that the most high gave you, how was was to, uh, uh, have faith, in his father and to do the will of his father. All right. So let's jump to St. John. Chapter one. In verse three, it says all things were made by him, which is Yahweh Shai. And without him was not anything made that was made. See, in him was life, and the life was the light of men. All right, and that's Yahweh Shah. All right, so think about it. Yahweh Shah had all power, but he had to come to fulfill the will. All right, and he had to take upon himself no reputation to do this. All right, even though he was a, 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 a god, all right, or the son of God, should I say, all right, the, 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 the number one power up under the Most High, all right. Which Hebrews first chapter shows us the power that Yahweh Shah had or the Most High gave unto Yahweh Shah, but he still took upon himself no reputation. Hebrews one and one it says the Most High who at sundry times and in diverse manners, all right, sundry times and diverse manners, all right, are different different manners and different times, spake in times past unto the fathers. By the prophets, all right, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, always uh, um, spoke to the people through his prophets. Verse 2, have in these last days spoken to us by his son, all right, and we are in these last times, okay, that the spirit is dealing with us, all right, which is the, the, the spirit of the sermon, all right, Yahweh Shah's spirit. It says, whom he have appointed heir of all things by whom also he made the worlds, which is Yahweh Shah, 
who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person. All right. Just like how I say, if you've seen me, you have seen the father. All right. It says, and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins. See, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. So Yahweh did this as being the sacrificial lamb. But remember, he had to take upon no reputation of being a God to do these things, man. And, and we should have that mindset to know that, hey, we are in these Im imperfect bodies. All right. And Yahweh is that example for us to walk in these imperfect bodies. All right. Yahweh had no proud. OK, we must know that, hey, we could be corrected. OK, we can be wrong. All right. And we got to follow the spirit. It says, verse four, being made so much better than the angels, see, as he have by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. His name is Yahweh which means he delivers. All right. He is a, he is the, the deliverer. That's that's the, the uh, he is the rescuer. All right. He is salvation. The Most High gave him that name and the Most High's name is in Yahweh Shah's name. All right. But still, Yahweh Shah. Uh, came and took upon himself no reputation and all these things. It says being made so much better than the angels. Why? Because Yahweh Shah uh, uh, was the first fruit. Okay. He created the rest of the Allah Hayim, All right. And they uh, created all things that were created. All right. We just read it. In St. John chapter one and verse three, it says being made so much better than the angels as he have by inheritance. All right. By inheritance, from the Most High, obtain a more excellent name than they, Yahweh Shah. Yah meaning he, Yahweh Shah means delivers or saves. For unto which of the angels said he at any time, unto any other angels that the Most High said any time, thou art my son, this day I have begotten thee. No, he only said this to Yahweh Shah. And again, I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. And this is Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah, and I brought this out because Yahweh Shah had all the glory, all the power, all right? But he still came as a humble lamb and took upon himself no reputation, all right? As being a, a, a almighty power. He rode in on a donkey, the king of kings we, we're speaking of, and the Lord of lords. That's being humble, man, and that's the footsteps we must follow, all right? Verse 6, and again, when he bringeth in the first begotten into the world, he said, and let all the angels of the Most High worship him. So all the angels worship Yahweh Shai, because he is the top angel, our big brother Yahweh Shai, all right? So imagine the humility that Yahweh uh, uh has, has showed us as coming uh, and taking upon himself no reputation. We are reading how glorious Yahweh Shai is and why we should Praise Yahweh Shah because he is the savior. He is the way back to the most high. All right. And yet, and the most high is, has given Yahweh Shah all these things and we're reading it. All right. Let's read it again. Hebrews 1 and 6. And again, when he bringeth in the first begotten into the world, Yahweh Shah, he saith, and let all the angels of the most high worship him. And of the angels, he saith, who make of his angels spirits and his ministers of flame of fire. But unto the Son, he saith, thy throne, O power, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of thy kingdom. And this is the Most High giving these things to, to Yahweh Shai, his only begotten Son, his firstborn, the first fruits of, of the first fruits, Yahweh Shai, all right? The one that was worthy to take the book out of the Most High's hand. And he still came. Uh, uh, and, and took upon himself no reputation. This is a mighty man that walked walked the earth, all right. And he came in re in plenty of incarnations, right? Such as Adam, right? Such as Melchizedek, all right? Such as King Solomon, all right? And he and he, the ultimate Yahweh shot being the sacrificial lamb, and he took upon himself no reputation this time because he had a job to do, all right. Let's read it again. Hebrews one and eight. But unto the Son, he saith, Yahweh Shai, thy throne, O power, is forever and ever. And that's right, the kingdom of heaven, all right? Because Yahweh Shai is the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, all right? He, he's from everlasting to everlasting, the Son of the Most High. These things, all right? Thy throne, O power, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of thy kingdom. He is the righteous. He is the glorified, Yahweh Shai. He is the accepted, okay? 
but he still took upon himself no reputation because he had fulfilled the will of the Most High, which is shedding blood for the elect of the nation of Israel, becoming the ultimate sacrifice. All right. So Yahweh Shah took upon himself no, no reputation, even though he is worthy to be praised. All right. And that's the mindset that we should be in, taking upon ourselves all humility and pray to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah through Yahweh Shah that the Most High increase us in humility. All right. Lord willing, I pray that this man edifying. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah. Call Halal Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, Waha Raka Kwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the men who rule well and teach well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Shalom and death to America.